The 10th annual Solar Car Challenge would see 14 teams from schools across the region pitting their skills on a racetrack as they turned humble solar panels into racing machines. Designs varied from the speedy looking Belvoir Bolt to race machines built more for endurance rather than style. I reckon we'll go really well. It's looking like a good car. It's, we thought it was the lightest here, but it turned out there's a few lighter ones here, so we're wondering how they did it. So we've got carbon fibre strapped to it and a bit of wood, so ours is not necessarily the best looking one, but hopefully it'll be the quickest. We kind of designed it like Kit, like Knight Rider, so the little LEDs go in there, but we had done them. She looks cool. Does yeah. she go fast? She does go fast. Really so far, fast. so good. Yes. Do you so have the that. patience to last the distance? Probably not me, but I, I can try. She looks like a rocket. No, uh, yeah, she, she goes. It goes. When it goes, it goes. We're prepared for endurance and not so much speed, so hopefully our car will be there at the end. Our car's the heaviest, so um, it's going to be to sit in the middle of the track. Um, not much else, take the corners, you know, nice and slim, that's pretty much all. Try and finish well. <laughs> ours isn't going to break, that's our tactic. It's probably the biggest car, but it's also, it's not as heavy as some of the other ones. So, I think we do have a good um, weight to power ratio in it, so we should be able to be near the front with it, which is good. It's just the panel and then we've got everything underneath and then we've got uh, some pool noodles around the edge to uh, protect the panel. And um, yeah, just the most aerodynamic design we can get. Jonathan from Finley High, you've come a bit of a distance to come away with the goods today. Do you think you can get there? Yeah, I think we have a fair chance if we keep it if we keep it good and see. What's going to be the secret to doing well? It's a long race. Oh, I don't know. I think maybe just start off slow and maybe gradually speed up and then by the time they get to the end we'd just be going full throttle. That solar car uh, took a bit of effort, uh, we had a bit, of, a bit of problems with it but we figured them out in the end and it's working very nice. It's been fun, I've learned a lot. A lot of the kids here I wasn't really close friends with and yeah after this like we're good friends, good mates, like we work together well. Like I've learned you know how to use like saws, like welder and stuff, like weld the alley frame together and stuff. So yeah, it's good. And even today we've made some sort of last minute changes to it. We've um, you know, put the foam on the edges and the wheels and things to spin it off the side. It's heavy. It's slow. Steering looks up. So you got a challenge on your hands. Yeah. Well, it is called the Solar Car Challenge. Enough said. Councillor Kevin Mack, uh, Deputy Mayor, of course, of Albury City, just working on the celebrity race now. He's having a look at some of those dials, and I don't think he's got much of an idea. We'll see how he goes. Watch out for the pink. What about the accelerator? Was it this one that was quick? I think so. I think it was. Yeah. If these combatants needed further inspiration to race for victory, it was on display early. We're coming first. We're going to go We're going first. To be first. Coming first. <laughs> Crashed. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am concentrating. I'm so bad at this, but I just got to keep going. Kev told me that if I just stay, keep my nose clean and keep going, I should be right. I've just got to make sure that I make it to the end without crashing. Oh no, they made me crash. Where's the weezer now? I want to know where the weezer is. I just want to see Boner. Kevin Mack jostled for the lead against eventual winner Mark Peachy from Educational well, Living. What helped me out was my lovely teenage children. Uh, I get to play on the Xbox, so that's, that's a good thing. Unruly tactics and dubious sportsmanship aside, the celebrities set the scene for the great race. The team that could put together the most number of laps over an hour would be declared the winner. Get set! And there it goes, and they're off and racing now. Fantastic work. This way down front, but they're starting out very quickly, and I tell you what, there's tears already. There goes the support crew as they run through. Number eight out in front, very nicely indeed. That's Finley High School, but they've spun out too.
having troubles. It's around the back straight there before the start finish line and it's only going very slow. Yeah. Guys, hey, they they've got nice pace now. They look like they'll pick that lap up and you never know who's going to win here. The hour-long test of design, speed, endurance and teamwork went down to the wire. Here comes Scott folks. Here it comes again. They're trying to pick up as many laps as they can in the last final few minutes. One minute to go. Wodonga TAFE nudging ahead of Border Christian College to claim victory. Ten, nine, get it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four. It feels fantastic. Uh, we had a few interesting moments, but um, yeah, just overwhelmed, and um, yeah, oh, it just feels so good. Yeah, it's uh, definitely uh, shown me a new side to uh, engineering and uh, manufacturing and stuff. But uh, yeah, certainly go on and look for stuff like this in the future. Take us through the day because you weren't the favourites. You weren't the early leaders, were you? No, we were. We were a bit of the underdog, but. Um, we started off well and just tried to stay consistent like our plan and um, yeah, it ended, ended up paying off in the end.